Hey there guys, my name is Steven and here are my top 10 Premier League surprises of the season so far. So, coming in at number 10 we have Timo Werner. The German who scored 28 goals in the 1920 season was heavily linked to Liverpool in last summer but ended up joining Chelsea for a fee of 53 million euros. After joining Chelsea in the summer he came in with a lot of pressure and a lot of expectation and it just hasn't worked out at Chelsea this season. Werner has only managed 5 goals in the Premier League season so far and Liverpool will be glad they didn't get the German. So coming in at number 9 we've got Ruben Diaz. I'll be real, when I first saw him sign for Manchester City, I didn't know if he'd be good enough and I didn't really know who he was. Now the Portuguese who signed for Manchester City for £65 million from Benfica has really really surprised me. The 23 year old who joined from Benfica has developed a good good partnership with John Stones and I really like that partnership. The 23 year old is very defensively aware, he knows how to block a ball and a cross and he's also got great timing for his tackles. Number 8 now, Sheffield United. In the 1920 season, Sheffield United end up finishing 9th. Now, last season they were the surprise team. Now, if you look at this season, they are right down at the bottom. I just don't get how you can go from being so good to so bad. At one point last year, people were even saying a potential European place for Sheffield United last season. But now they currently find themselves bottom of the Premier League this season. Even though it's not confirmed, they will be going back down to the Championship and this season they've really struggled for goals and have only managed 16 goals in this whole season so far. Now, number 7, Patrick Bamford. When Leeds were promoted back to the Premier League, there was a lot of questions whether Patrick Bamford, the former Chelsea man, was good enough for the Premier League. But this season he's answered all those critics. He is currently the joint third top scorer in the Premier League with 14 goals with Calvert-Lewin. He has been very key to Leeds' success this season and is one of the reasons why Leeds will be staying in the Premier League this season. So well done Patrick. Coming in at number 6 is something I never thought I'd say but the resurrection of Jesse Lingard. Let's say if you asked me 6 months ago about Jesse Lingard I would have said where is he and what's happened to him. Since joining West Ham alone from Manchester United he seems to have rediscovered his form. Since joining West Ham alone he has managed 5 goals and 2 assists in 7 games for West Ham. He seems to be back to his best and I believe he's got a real chance of getting into the Euro 2021 England squad if his form continues. Now, number 5, Arsenal. At the start of the season everyone was saying that Arsenal could be in a top 4 race and they would have a real chance of getting into the top 4. But they've been so inconsistent. Even at one point this season everyone was saying a potential relegation battle for Arsenal. But after Christmas Arsenal seem to have rediscovered their form but they are still very inconsistent. They currently sit 9th in the Premier League table at the moment and I believe with the current squad they should be doing a lot better. Even though it's been a poor season for Arsenal, they are still in the Europa League and if they win the Europa League they have a real chance of salvaging their season. Number 4, John Stones. To be honest with you, at the start of the season I thought that John Stones career at Man City was done. Before this season Stones was very prone to making errors. For example, the 2019 Nations League semi-final against the Netherlands. His error led to a Netherlands goal and ultimately Netherlands ended up winning the Nations League semi-final against England because of Stones. But this season he seems to have cut out all the errors in his game. He's much improved from the earlier seasons and also after partnering up with Ruben Diaz, the new signing at centre-back, they seem to have a really good partnership. Whilst also still remaining good on the ball, he's also cut out the errors in his game and is also much more defensively aware. Coming in at number 3 we've got David Moyes. Yes, now currently West Ham and David Moyes sit 5th in the Premier League and are really in a top 4 race. They are 2 points behind Chelsea in 4th. After his time at Manchester United, David Moyes really became a bit of a meme of a manager. After his time at Manchester United, he had other stints at Real Sociedad, Sunderland and his first time at West Ham. But after rejoining West Ham for a second time, he seems to have rediscovered himself. He seems to have rediscovered his confidence and now looks back to the man that was at Everton a few years ago. After rejoining West Ham, he's made some great signings such as Thomas Suchek, Jared Bowen and Jesse Lingard. He's also sorted out the West Ham defence. He also has a great midfield partnership in Thomas Suchek and Declan Rice, whilst also looking a threat going forward with Jared Bowen and other players like Antonio. I think he's managing a club like West Ham which is very similar to Everton and I believe he can have great success at West Ham in the future. Now, number 2 is Manchester City and their domination of the Premier League this season. 
At the start of the season there was a lot of question marks over Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. But after making great signings such as Ruben Diaz and finding the correct balance in the team, they have been really, really successful and answered all those critics. They are on course for a great season and have a real chance of winning the quadruple. But what is surprising about Manchester City this season is their domination of the Premier League. And now, my biggest surprise of the Premier League season so far is Liverpool. Yes, the 1920 champions who won the league by 99 points now currently sit 7th in the Premier League this season. They've had a lot of long term injuries including Virgil van Dijk, Joe Gomez and Joe Matip. But I believe with these current injuries this team should still be doing a lot better than where it sits right now in the Premier League. For example, this season they have lost games at home to teams like Brighton and Fulham 1-0. Even though they have a lot of key injuries, I still believe that this Liverpool team should be beating teams like Brighton and Fulham. The famous front three doesn't look as threatening and also the defence looks really leaky at the back. Even with key injuries, I still believe that this Liverpool team should be doing a lot better than where they currently sit in the Premier League this season. In the comments, let me know your biggest surprise of the Premier League season so far and like and subscribe for more football content. See you later.